and this should be drawing 20 million tourists to South Africa every year and nobody knows about it. It's unbelievable. Let's uh, get closer. Oh wow. Uh, this is just beautiful. Look at this. There's the, you know when you, there the big, there's the big toe and the other four toes down to the small toe, down to the heel. What's fascinating about this is Anybody, anybody that, that does a study of this will notice this piece sticking out here. It's like when you put your foot in mud and you pull it out, your toes will lift up a little mud where your toes were. And it's exactly what seems to have happened here. This rough granite is just it's pulled up. This overhang here, it's spectacular. And I see that people have been visiting here because they've been leaving little coins here, which is wonderful. Um, maybe just come closer and, and show um, um, this from more close up. Okay, well, I don't know who else has filmed this, but um, I think we'll put this up for everybody to see, for everyone to really appreciate this, this is a spectacular bit of human history. They were giants on earth. So you say that it was found in sediments that were determined to be about 10 million years old. That, that, that's in the case of Atavi Pithecus. Oh, Atavi not Pithecus, this. not this one. Okay. No, no. no. Okay. We don't know recent. how old it is. Yes, yeah, for comparison. Gosh. Oh my God. Gosh. No, that's that's chalk and cheese. I must get you the other one. Correct. So I mean, it's like it's like twice the size. Oh, it's more. Yeah. It's more yeah. than twice the size. Unfortunately, you don't seem to have. Because you know, all of humankind from Scandinavia down to South to the South America wow. have stories of giants. Well, that's not the wrong side. It's, mm. So, is, the, is this the right side that we're looking at? We're looking at the other side. The other side, okay. I haven't been able to find a counterpart. Mm. <clears throat> but yes, you can see the femoral head is so much. So, so, I mean, essentially, if one had to just take a, a, a wild guess, you could say this thing is twice the size of a human. I would say four times. I mean, times. Would, would, would I be completely out of line? I would say three times. That's fine. We, we, we can do this. And we do that. And we say twice. Oh, twice the size. Yeah, but it's not because its actual volume is a lot more than twice. In, I would mm. say yes. Three or four times. In terms of the dimension of the femoral head, it's in the order of twice. Twice as this, twice this, twice this, yeah. all the directions. But you write volumetrically, it's so the times. femoral head would be bigger. So he could be four times the height. Very good. Sure. Let's overdo wow. it. Say <laughs> twice. <laughs> Twice is good Twice enough for me, you know. Enough. I don't know so basically, <laughs> so we're dealing with with potential evidence here that there were humanoids or human-like beings running around here that were twice the size of what we are today. Large human. On this photo, you can see bones which I found in uh, Ecuador, in the south of Ecuador, in the province Loja, where in 1964, uh, Father Carlos Vaca, a priest, 
uh, was called by the indigenous in a small uh, in a small town because there was a heavy storm overnight and a part of a mountain breakdown of a platform and many bones, broken bones, were shown up. Uh, uh, Padre Carlos Vaca was working many years in hospitals and they called him if he can tell them what this might be. So he visited the place and he checked the bones and he identified many of the bones as human bones, but after researching everything, the size of this human skeleton must have had the size of 7.6 meters. You can see the papers on each bone, that's the writing, handwriting of Father Carlos Vaca, and he also called some experts, and they also uh, proved that these bones are skeleton bones of a giant human. The bones must be very old because on this photo you can see a part of the skull plate and you can see the crystallization on this bone. So that means this skeleton is really very, very old. I met the family of uh, Father Carlos Vaca because it took me about three, four years until I found out where he lived in the province Loja. So when I went there, I got the sad information that exactly one month ago he passed away, but I could make contact with his family, uh, his uh, brother's family, and they kept all the bones and they allowed me to bring some of these bones to Vienna to do some further research uh, on, on them. So on this picture, you can see one definitely identified human bone. It's a uh, part of the heel bone. This is a side picture of this heel bone. When I had it in Vienna, I asked the professor of anatomy from the University of Vienna if he can do me a check on these bones. And he checked several of them. And finally he said, it's incredible. They look like human bones, but it's definitely, it might not be possible because they are at least five times bigger. So next day he called me again and he said if I would have time for him, so he came with the original human bones, exactly the same, and he did comparison, and he also said it, it's uh, impossible, but they look like human bones, and I'm quite sure they are human bones because we had several other checks and the result was always the same. We found in old documents uh, in South America, in Quito, informations from uh, Chiesa de Leon, he was historian for the conquistadors in the 16th century. And in one of his reports, he wrote, today we found on the coast of Esmeraldas several human skeletons, but they were five times bigger than we. So if you think that a normal uh, person at that time had the size of about 150, 160 centimeters, five times would be exactly 7.5, 7.6 meters. The next photo shows part of the nose bone and the next one is a so-called os occipitale which we have left side, right side under the skull which makes us uh, able to move the skull around. Uh, as Michael said yesterday, he never got in touch with the real old uh, giant human bones. I asked him today, I would be very happy if he could visit me in Vienna and check the bones because his opinion would be very important for me. In a small museum in uh, Cuenca, in Ecuador, we found this stone axe, which is 70 centimeters uh, long and very heavy. It's made out of granite. And you can even see here that there was in former times also something, a rope or something like this uh, around it for holding it. Again, here we did a uh, comparison with uh, normal stone axes from uh, South America. And this one is also approximately five times bigger than a normal one. This is another one, very big stone axe from the same museum. And this one, another one. Of course, they are mentioned, uh, announced at the museum as ceremonial axes. Uh, 
In the exhibition 2004 in Switzerland, Unsolved Mysteries, an American artist did us a replica, a model of a 7.6 meter giant and you can see how big this giant really was. That's another picture. The skull is so big, five times bigger than a normal skull, that two men had to hold it with their hand. Very interesting discovery was done in the famous Cuevas de los Tayos in Ecuador. This is a very, very big underground tunnel system which was found by Juan Moritz uh, about 35 years ago. There were some expeditions already inside and uh, on this picture you can see that this tunnel system, especially this big hole, is man-made and you can see the entrance on the other side and there is one man, if you look at this, at this figure, this is not a man, this is a wall painting. And the man standing next to it is here. And this, this wall painting is very coincidental, coincidentally 7.5 meters big. So for me, that might, might be a sign that in Cuenca, uh, in Ecuador, really giants with a size of 7.5, 7.6 meters. They really lived there. Then we got some photos from Bolivia, from the military, that they found several skeletons with a size of 2.6 meters, 2.5 meters. You see on this picture bones and the, the, the front of a skull. And here is a close-up of one of these skulls. You can see that the jaw is much stronger than our jaw. And uh, the most uh, strange thing for me is that, uh, as uh, Brian yesterday explained exactly, that we human, we have homo sapiens, we have the three bone plates, bone connections. These skulls, they, they have not the missing connection over this guy.